war cry to come to you that will stir you up God that will change the very atmosphere we want to open up our mouth and give you the glory that is due to you say my God my God shepherd in the valley and I shall not walk. First Chronicles chapter 4. We're going to look at two verses of scripture, verse 9 and 10. The word of the Lord reads, if you don't have a Bible, we'll ask you to look with us on the screen. The word of the Lord says, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. Verse 10 says, Jabez called upon the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border and that your hand might be with me and that you would keep me from harm so that it might be not so, so, that, so that it might not bring me pain. And the verse of scripture says, and God granted what he asked. Somebody ought to say amen to the reading of God's word. Today I'm going to teach, I'm going to preach with this thought in our hearts and in our minds, unrealistic expectations unrealistic expectations look at this i love this it assume a level of control that we don't actually have in a situation whenever it is that i have unrealistic expectation it assumes a level of control it, it, all of us have circumstances all of us have dilemmas all of us have challenges that we wish we can control if, if, if we can control it if we, if we, we would if we can, can change if we can change it we would if we can be able to turn this situation around we would and actually when i have unrealistic expectations it, it assumes i have this control that i really don't have and it goes on to say as a result so we repeatedly feel disappointment that the expectation hasn't been met. Let me talk about 10 unrealistic expectations. Let me see if you can find your cousin on this list. I'm going to see if you can find your cousin on this list. Uh, because when, when, when our expectation isn't right, we're setting ourselves up for disappointment. What's the first one? The first one is expecting that life should be fair. Uh, can I tell you that unrealistic expectation is expecting opportunities will fall into my lap. Uh, unrealistic expectation is expecting that everyone should like me. Yeah. Expecting people should agree with me. Oh expecting that another person to make me happy. Yeah. Unrealistic expectations is simply expecting others to know what you're thinking. Yeah. Uh, unrealistic expectation is expecting people will know, look at this, people will know what you're trying to say. Have you ever been misunderstood? Have you ever said something and someone took it the wrong way? That's going to happen. That's part and parcel of doing life. Unrealistic expectations. I'm going to get everybody on board in a minute. It's expecting, look at this, I'm not going to fail. Expecting things will make you happy. Mm -hmm. Expecting that I can change someone. Unrealistic expectations come on I'm just talking I'm just talking to your cousin and that's the only people I'm talking to you hooking up with somebody with the expectation that you're going to change them you hooking up with somebody and you got the mindset that they're a project no my friend if you want if you want to if you want a task or a project come on you go to Michael's and buy you some buy you some little craft and got you some fabric and get you a little foam thing if you want a project get you some popsicle sticks and some glue and some Elmer's glue if you want a project you don't marry a project come on you don't hook up with a project if you want a project go to the project and preach the gospel if you want a project but don't hook up with somebody talking about this is gonna be my little this is gonna be my little smorgasbord you're gonna be looking like a smorgasbord after a while no you can't change nobody you cannot change a grown person
on behalf of everyone at Truth and Love Ministries, we want to thank you for joining us for our virtual worship experience. We want to thank you for your likes and your shares, your comments and your emojis. But we also want to invite you to partner with us as we continue to be the hands and the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. You do know that he told us that we ought to feed the hungry, we ought to clothe the naked, and we ought to be the church. And you can help us to continue to do just that through your generosity. And there are three easy, safe, and secure ways that you can do just that. You can text the word T-I-L Jacks, one word, T-I-L Jacks, to the number 77977. You can go to our website, www.truthandlove.tv, or you can go to the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, search for Truth and Love Jacks, download our app, and you can give that way. We thank you for your participation. We thank you for your generosity, and we love you, and we'll see you next time. Here comes the church. God bless you.